Welcome back. This is the next video on functions and return values. In our last lesson, we saw that functions can take parameters in, then return a result back to the main program that called them. Let's take a look at another example. This function is taking two numbers, calculates a new variable called total, then returns that value back to the caller. We can look at this a different way. Sum is the function. It's like a machine. Something comes into the function and something goes out. In this case, 5 and 8 are the parameters going in, and 13 goes out. That is our return value. In code, it would look like this. Our result is equal to sum 5, 8. After executing, result variable now has the value of 13. We can also pass parameters as variables. If we define x as 14 and y as 2, our total would equal 16 after this line executes. So let's explore this in the editor. OK, we're going to start by defining our functions. So we're going to say sum is equal to first, second, and we're going to take those two parameters and pass it in. Okay, then we're going to create a variable in here called total, and that's just going to equal first plus second. Okay, And now what we're going to do is we're going to return that value of total. So again, this is our return statement here. It's going to send that value of total back to our calling function. And remember, if I have just a function defined and I run it, nothing happens because I haven't actually called it. So what happens is I create a call here. So let's call this results. And we're going to say results is equal to sum of 5 and 8. And so when I call this function, it passes 5 to first and second, it adds it up, and it takes that total value and puts it back in our results. And then I can print that out here. So I can say print results, and I run my code, and I see I get 13. Okay, so let's try another example. So we're going to find a new function, we're going to call it add1. And we're going to define this just simply as saying return x plus 1. Okay. So now again, if I call this, I can give it a value of y, and I can say y is add 1, 100. And if I go and print y, I'll see that I get a value of 101. Now I can also use a variable in here. I'm not, I don't have to pass it a, an integer. I can actually pass it a variable value, which is an integer. And so if I say z is equal to add 1 and pass that y, I'll see that I take my value of 100 here, converts it into 101, adds another one there. And if I print this out, I should now see that I get 102. Okay, so this is an example of how we can use return values in our functions.